Today is Monday, December 27th, 12.18 a.m. And I was supposed to upload a video, but I didn't get a chance to because the video was acting funny, I guess. It was too long. And then I tried to do another one, and the beginning was blurry. So let's get into the video. So let me first start this video off by telling y'all I am not trying to take any profit from anybody who does this or who feels confident that they think they are a true medium or psychic or reader, whatever you want to call yourself. I'm not trying to take away from anybody who does that. It's just that nowadays you have to be careful. There are people who are trying to make more profit than they are really trying to help people. Now, let me go ahead and get into why I don't trust tarot and why I don't use it. So when I was younger, I used to have this woman who babysat me and her powers came online. Or her abilities came online. Y'all know that's what they're saying now. For the chosen ones or for the people with special abilities. Which I just call us people with special abilities. Or supernatural abilities. Um, She had the ability and it went away. But when I got there, when she babysat me and my twin, we came back. She did our reading. And I found it quite odd because she knew everything from the past. And she got it right. And I'm like, nobody knows that but me and my twin and my mom. We all know what happened. Everybody in the family knows what's going on. But she's a stranger. So what got me interested was when she went to do my reading, she was like, she felt too much energy. So she had to shake her hands off because the energy was coming from her. She was feeling her energy. And a little bit of mine. But she shook her hands off and she got ready to do the reading. And all she did was look at my hand. And she let it go. And, you know, she did the reading. And I realized when a psychic or a seer or a reader does your readings, then they use energy. Everything in the universe is created of energy. So how could you not try to do a reading by using a person's energy? It's impossible unless you're just that good. Y'all, y'all get it? Like energy, like we all have energy. Like I can feel my own energy right now on my arm if I hold it like this. Even if I hold it this far away, I can still feel my energy on my arm. I still can feel it. I can feel everybody else's energy. But the reason why I don't trust tarot is because I knew a girl who had a friend who did tarot one day. She was just trying to make some money. She said it can be that hard. And, you know, she was interested in it. And, you know, she said she can do it a little bit, but not a lot. So she started gaining clients. And, you know, she started doing tarot reads. And then one day... She was like, something happened to her, like, where it, like, really scared her. It was like maybe a glass had fallen off the table or something, or the door kept opening, or, you know, stuff like that. That happened to her, and she said she was so scared she couldn't stay at home by herself, so she had to go to a friend's house. And I was like, I wouldn't have done that if I were you, because you are not protected. You don't know what all comes with that. So, when she did those readings... What she actually did was she invited dark entities in her home. And I think, if I can remember, if I can remember correctly, one of the clients said they're not never doing that again. Because when they went home, something freaky started happening to them. They didn't say what, but it was like some real crazy stuff creepy stuff happening to them too and 
like it scared them. It scared that person. So y'all see why I don't deal with tarot because tarot invites all those dark entities in and they're just not they're just not good entities. They're foreign entities. They're bad. They're lost souls. Bad spirits like I've been telling y'all about. And that's not the only way those dark entities can get into the world. That's just one way. The more dark entities means more chaos, more trouble. But yeah, I don't use tarot because I don't want to invite that spirit in and you know, I don't need to use it because I am given the ability that, you know, God gave me when I was born and he chose to entrust in me with this ability. And anyone can have this ability. Anyone can. First, you need to put down the tarot cards because it's, it's, it's cool, but is not cool because I see what they're doing. I mean, some of the reads it might resonate with some people, but it doesn't resonate with all. That's why some people are skeptics. Like I said, I'm not trying to knock nobody off what they're trying to make for themselves. Everybody's trying to make something, but y'all know everybody can go within themselves. Everybody got powers they can possess and everybody can learn to have supernatural abilities. So y'all be careful when y'all go with tarot reads and y'all know y'all find a way to protect yourselves because y'all know them dark entities, they create a lot of harm. So y'all, y'all need to start protecting yourselves and, and start stocking up on whatever it is y'all need to stock up on. I'm not going to tell y'all to stock up on because it's Google out here. Y'all can research and y'all know, find some stuff to protect yourselves with. So this is the end of my video. Like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, turn on post notifications. I'll see y'all in another video.